Yeah, no jobs on a dead planet. That's the reality. Climate change is a significant issue and probably of more significance for our union than any other. I don't think we should be surprised that this is a really challenging issue for Australia. The Australian government is not doing enough for the climate. Thousands of people just here in Sydney all together today. This is an issue that affects everybody. The same lies and vilification and fake information that's been spread against us is by the same sources. Murdoch, the neoliberal conservative politicians. It's the great lie that there's no global warming because they continue to secure another 20 years of carbon fueled profits. We're the union that represents oil and gas workers. We're the union that represents coal workers, Sunset Industries, coal, oil and gas. Uh, but we also understand we've got to take part in the debate about what the future of this planet is going to look like. This is predicted to get a lot worse if we don't act now. We're the world's largest coal exporter, recently the world's largest gas exporter. We've got a government that's totally committed to free market neoliberal solution, but also when we've had Labour governments as well, those things make quite difficult to actually plan a transition of the economy. When you see a person of like Greta Thurberg and her tremendous spirit. Mass extinction and all you can talk about is money. This is coming from within. She's been transformed by the debate. Same as the young students that have the courage to stand up to the denial of the Andrew Bolts and the Alan Joneses and the coalition governments of the country to come out and say no. As students and workers, we have the power to actively change the way we produce energy. Yeah. It's great to see a lot of unionists, often unionists there with their kids, <laughs> or unionists there who are brought by their kids, who are themselves very keen and very interested to think through what it is that unions can actually do. It is no wonder without any projects in the renewable sector to point to in terms of just transition that we got the result we saw at the last federal election. If coal workers and coal communities feel that the choices around energy transition are either climate or their jobs in their communities, it should come as no surprise that they pick their jobs in their communities every single time. And we need to be able to put in place a project that for the first time puts in place those jobs which we deserve in terms of renewable energy in this country. And the project that will deliver that, if we're able to get this right, will be Star of the South. The we as workers, it's a new kind of work for maritime workers because traditionally we haven't worked in the electricity system. But potentially we could be building hundreds if not thousands of big windmills at a big scale off the coast of Australia that would supply renewable energy into Australia's electricity grid. And that could be a source of jobs for our members who currently work in the offshore oil and gas industry. The problem we've got at the moment is that the labour that's building these renewable energy projects is by and large exploited backpacker labour. There is not one example of a project that has landed just transition. I urge you, because we do, to get behind this report, because this report is a campaign plan, a call to action. 250 wind turbine offshore wind project, some of the biggest wind turbines in the world will be built on that project, state of the art technology. It's a nine and a half billion dollar job with committed pension money fund out of Denmark. We've been involved in promoting the project because we see that as a project that can, for the first time, realise the ambition we have about just transition. There's been something like four and a half thousand windmills built in the sea around Europe. Now they're starting to go more global. There's a big organising challenge and there's a big political challenge for the union movement but also for society more broadly. We'll deliver a just transition. With Will and Penny, we've got to build a collaboration of like-thinking people. A united front politics always to strengthen our resolve, to make our claim as this energy emerges and we've got to do that as a trade union movement, as a society, on a massive scale. We need to make jobs for workers and renewable wind farms are the way of the future. We want those jobs and we want climate action now. Climate justice, workers' rights, one struggle, one fight. Climate justice, workers' rights, one struggle, one fight.